everyone it's Lisa happy Friday I hope you've had a good week I know we're all getting ready for Thanksgiving next week I know as soon as Halloween gets here you just know it's Christmas already I mean it just happens so fast but I love it when the kids are out of school so anyway um today my package that I ordered from Barney's is not here it'll probably be here today after I do my video but um I will show you that it's a makeup product and it's a book and um, I remembered that after I did the video yesterday which by the way thank you so much I'm enjoying reading your answers so much oh goodness my TV's turn that off and um, one thing that I am so glad that you guys had some input in is the whole rug under my bed I was talking to John about it because several of you said that you didn't have a rug under your bed and you loved how clean it looked and how it kept it. And then another one of you said that it was good for allergies and stuff to not have the rug under your bed and it helped with keeping the dust and stuff away. So that is a big, big, big plus for me. And I do love when I walk in the room and it's just so... Oh, it's just so clean and and um, so now it's like so wonderful. I just get up and I make up the bed because I love my bed now and I open the blinds and the floor looks so pretty and the vacuum cleaner that John ordered, um, I asked him, I said, how did you end up talking to a guy at work about a vacuum cleaner? And he said that um, they were talking and the guy said he loves gadgets and he said see watch this and the guy had an app or something on his phone kind of like probably ring doorbell or something like that and he showed john how he could start his vacuum cleaner vacuuming during you know from work and um so and i had already john and i had already mentioned um getting the roomba and I think that's like $300, and this one's like $200, but this one gets great reviews. So I will let you know how it goes. Um, but so now that little vacuum cleaner will be going up under my bed. I mean, it would anyway with the carpet, but still, you guys know what I mean. So, um, and I know it's like, I'm going to go on and on, but I can't help it. It's just... It just means that much to me, this little bit of stuff. And if I really would have known, I should have known, but if I would have known, I would have done it so much sooner. I would have just insisted. But I kind of had to wait until John was ready to. So thank you for that input and so many more things. Like I know I need to go to Hobby Lobby now. Um, you gave me some different artists, which I have two exciting things to show you today. And um, just so much. So thank you. Thank you for participating in that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the package that I got from Los Angeles. It was from a store called Elise Walker. And I know that there is a website that I will link down below, an Elise Walker website. But we went to the actual store and I got Brooke her first pair. She has always loved my Gucci loafers. And I have bought her several pair. You guys have seen them. I bought the... Um, Jeffrey Campbell loafers that are very, very similar. And then I bought her kind of a knockoff pair at New York and Company that were black with the fur. And then I think I bought her another pair at Target. And she just wears them all the time with her leggings, her jeans, everything. And they look so cute on her that um, I wanted to bring her back something special from Los Angeles because she's a little fashionista. And she was so good at helping her daddy while I was gone. She took Will to school, picked him up, you know, just helped with so much. So, anyway, I ended up getting her these loafers. They're the Prince, I don't know if it's Princeton, I think it's Princetown loafers. And these are the graffiti. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought they were cute. I, there was another pair there that was more of the sparkle foil type um, that are so popular and they didn't have her size. So they had her size in these and I thought these would look so good with jeans. So I grabbed these and as you can see she's worn them and she loves them. She even loves, she's like me, she just loved the box that they came in. So um, she is a US size 7 and I got her the 37 and a half in these and they fit her perfectly. So if you know if you want to get some you know any of the styles but this or any of the colors but this style that's what I would do is go up a half a size um, I don't think you can go wrong because I like to go up a half a size anyway when it's a slide and I always go up half a size with Gucci so we got those 
And um, then this is the bag I got, and it is gorgeous. Oh, this is the little dust bag, but here is the handbag, and I just think it is beautiful. So it's very similar to the other one that I bought, um, but you know, of course, this is, I guess it's glued on. Um, it's the Dionysus collection that has this part right here, so that makes it different, and I love how it has the silver chain, but the gold hardware. That is amazing to me, and this is the best part. Blind for love. I love that part. That is one of my favorite, one of their, you know, little sayings or whatever that the new Gucci collections are doing, and um, so love it. I mean, what's not to love? And then it even gets better once you, okay, you squeeze a thing and then you open it up. Hey, Chanel. <laughs> you gonna come sit with us? So it has two compartments even like a zipper compartment there. And um, let's see, oh, and then it even has a compartment right here. I don't even know if I knew about that one. So that one will be good to just like, hmm, I don't know if you could put your phone there or whatever you wanted to. But um, so I love it, I love it. And it's, I think it's an older style. So I will see if it's still available. Um, my black and gold one that I got, it is just gorgeous. Everyone loves it. Um, you can never go wrong with that one. That one's a little bit classier probably than this one is, but I love them both. So um, then that's, I think that's all that I got from Los Angeles. I didn't get, I've got on the Zara pants that I bought. I've got them on today to show you. And um, I don't think I got anything else, which I was, I mean, I spent enough money for certain, but I was good about, I mean, I had room left in my suitcase when I came home, so that was really nice not to have to stress about that. And um, so, let's see, yesterday I got two packages from Denise, and I'll put her Instagram down below. She really has amazing style. She has an amazing personality and heart. And um, I think one day she will probably start her own YouTube channel, but she's got a, a big career going and um, she probably would have a hard time finding the time. But um, so she sent me two things. The first thing I just know you guys will love and I'm gonna zoom in. Next week, hopefully I'll be able to um, do my video downstairs. Um, so yesterday I got a package from, I believe it was Neiman Marcus and it is, she finds the neatest stuff that I have never heard of and this is, I don't even, you know I'm gonna murder that if I try to say the name. I'll put the um, link down below. Okay, Bergdorf is where it was from because that's what the tag says. And it's, the name of the color is, oh it must be Asian because the writing down here is Asian. The name of it is Glow Beige. And it is beautiful. It's what I've got on now. And actually, I probably should have used um, Bobbi Brown Cocoa. Would look better with this. I, out of habit, just started right out with Lancome Ideal because that's my favorite. But what I'm going to do is take this off or blot it down and then put it on again so you can see it. Because the color is amazing. And it is a really neat... Um, let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see how it has like little sparkles and it's kind of shimmery and it is beautiful. It's kind of soft and it's kind of balmy. But it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna just put it on now. It still has lots of color. Chanel's back here purring. So I love it, love it, love it. It is so, and it's pretty, and oh, it's just amazing. Gosh, I've already gotten lipstick on the sides. Oh, terrible. But um, so anyway, thank you, Denise. I love it. And then I've got one more thing from her. And um, let me go get those real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So um, this is another thing. John said um, that he was outside. He finished our floors yesterday. He finished putting the molding down in his closet and everything. It looks so good. And he said um, our mail lady was out there blowing the horn. And um, 
So he had to go sign for a package and this is what it was. And I probably should have taken it out of this, but I didn't want it to get dirty. But um, Denise sent me this print or I don't know if it's a print. It's from um, Comleva Trina Artist. And I will put the link down below. Um, but look, it's personalized and everything from Denise. It says, Lisa, what can I say, Denise? And it has the artist's name and everything. Oh gosh. I love it. It says made with all made with all my love. Oh, that is so sweet. I mean, I know she doesn't necessarily mean it to me, but I just love that. Anyway, so here it is, and I told Denise I'm gonna take this, and um, Brooke did a fabulous piece of artwork in art class this year that I'm gonna take both of those to get framed. And um, I just love it. So you guys know this is like my other Gucci bag that I bought, the Marmont velvet bag. So anyway, I told her, she said that she was looking for office art and ran across this. And oh, it is so cool. Anyway, so thank you to Denise and the artist for even creating that. Okay, then this next piece. After I showed you guys my big tiger boss that I got from Sully and Anlian, um, she is the same artist that has done, this is Safu, my camel. <laughs> Um, I had one of my subscribers message me, and her name is Jane. I'm, um, is it, I don't know if it's Michelle or Michael. She lives in Canada, so I'm sure this is probably like a French, probably, version. But she is an artist that lives there, and she uh, she's one of my subscribers. She said that she has been with me for years, and she also sells my Nate. So we are bonded in many ways. And um, it says, she was born in Vancouver, BC, raised in Victoria, and now working and living in the heart of Fernwood, Victoria, BC. My paintings are a mix of abstract and impression. I'm influenced by everyday life and by the ever-changing play of light. To me, beauty is all around us, from the wide open landscapes to the smallest pixel of light. My joy in painting comes from putting my eye on canvas and what I see in my mind's eye. I get immense pleasure from creating what I see and feel I am delighted when others enjoy my work. My hope is to create work that will evoke enjoyment and a sense of beauty. And so she messaged me and um, asked if I would like, that, said that she would like to send me a piece of her artwork and she was kind of getting a feel for what I like. And so I told her that I really, um, loved the gold you know you know i love the gold um gold leaf and stuff like that and i told her that i really love the color chartreuse i've been wanting a punch of chartreuse in my living room and i haven't really found anything that i wanted and so yesterday ups delivered this and it is just amazing and let me back out so you can see the whole thing and this is an original artwork and here it is, and it came to me all framed and everything, and I love it. I mean, I love it. It is beautiful. I love, look at all the chartreuse colors and the gold and the black. And it just reminds me, what it reminds me of growing up here is um, downtown Wilmington by the river and the um, different city buildings and stuff because when I was little that was the only city you know that was the only city landscape that I ever really saw and I always thought it was you know so cool when we would come you know over the bridge back into town and see the city over there on the river and I just love the colors I love the I just love every single thing about it look at the purple and the pink it's just amazing and I can't wait. I, I want to find like a really special place for it. I think I might put it in my dining room. I think it would look beautiful in there. And then I think I might find some kind of special chair to put under it. Um, there's this spot that I don't think you guys have seen. And it's to the right of my uh, china cabinet. And it's right by the windows. And I just think this would go perfect there. So I'm waiting until I declutter my living room and can really do that whole section up but um so jane thank you so much i've already told her thank you and this just means so much to me i will just have it forever and i just love it i love every color i love everything about it and i was just telling um oh i think it was morgan um we went and got brooke's hair done this week and um 
Morgan just got a new house too. And so we were talking about art and everything. And I was saying how much I had, this is before I got this, how much I had um, grown to appreciate abstract art and um, how I love it to see, I love artwork that you can tell has been painted a lot with that, I'm gonna say trowel, and I know that's not what it is, but that's what I'm thinking of, or that um, just flat metal blade thing. It's like I appreciate that so much more in the look of it. So it's, um, you know, I'm growing. <laughs> and um, so here's another piece of her work. I'm gonna put her website down below. And um, I'm just really, and she's got a, yeah, a blog. And I'm going to tag her on Instagram also. Anyway, so thank you so much for that. That just means so much. And I think that is it. I think so. I don't think I got anything else this week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, I will see you, if not this weekend, I will see you next week for sure. And um, so nails are the same. These, this is a new earring that Sheila made and I had never seen them until I went to our um, meet and greet, the sipping shop. And um, she had these and I fell in love. And I think a lot of you that went did too. I know she sold several pair, but I've got these and I've got the pink ones. And it just reminds me of like the supermodel era. And then it reminds me a little bit of like Diane von Furstenberg, you know, and that Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors a little bit, but they're super, super light. And she said that when she was in Brazil, she found a guy that works with this, which is acrylic, I forgot the word. And um, she said they were just playing with it. And she asked him, what does it do when you heat it up? And he says, well, it, you know, gets soft and you can mold it. And she said that they um, ended up twisting it. It's called the twist. And they designed these earrings. And hold on just a second. Let me get this in my ear here. Um, I like how it's got the great big backs on it, too. But um, I just think they're amazing. And they're light as a feather. I mean, they're probably lighter than the hoops. And I like earrings that have like a big... Instead of just being the earring, I like that it has something up there too. And um, they look really good with your hair up. The first time I wore them, I had my hair up and I got lots of compliments. Gosh, all day long, everywhere we went, I got compliments. But um, so, and then no other jewelry. And I've got on um, like an old cami. And then I've got on this leather jacket that is one of my favorites. It is the, um, I think it's called Truve. And it has like a knit under here and it doesn't have a lot of hardware on it. You can cross it like that. But what I love about it is it's very thin and soft and it's a good one when you are going to be getting in and out of the car, in and out of the car and shopping. This one is a little bit thinner and um, stretchy. So it's a really good one. And oh, let me show you the um, Zara. Um, leggings and after i washed and dried them they're not that big they're just a little bit big and i love like this um loop here and then here are the stripes and i love the color that green and white um i love those stripes and yesterday i was so thrilled that i i need a remote don't i i was so thrilled that i found these boots on amazon i am very tempted to buy a backup pair because they are, I mean, I don't think that they look as good as like my Stuart Weitzman pointy toe or my Manolo boots or something like that, but these are comfortable, they look good, and they're just, the quality is amazing because they're fry, and it's my Parker boots, and you guys know I wear the heck out of these. I've got the tall ones, but these are the ankle, and I, you can see how much I wear these. I wear them constantly, and they've got like a nice rubbery type sole and um, I wear them all the time so if they're not you know crazy cheap or anything but they're not crazy expensive either and I think they're worth every penny so and they're they're perfect heel height everything so I think that's it you can tell I'm just excited every day I'm just excited and I will see you real soon and thank you all so much for being here and um, have a good weekend bye-bye